today I'm here to talk about the second book review of the month, and that is going to be Eleanor and Park by Rainbow Rowell. I hope you can see this cover because it's very bright and so is my background. I will read you guys the synopsis of it and we will begin talking about it. Eleanor, red hair, wrong clothes, standing behind him until he turns his head, lying beside him until he wakes up, making everyone else seem drabber and flatter. Never good enough, Eleanor. Park. He knows she'll love a song before he plays it for her. He laughs at her jokes before she gets to the punchline. There's a place in his chest just below his throat that makes her want to keep her promises. Park. Set over the course of one school year, this is the story of two star-crossed 16-year-olds smart enough to know that first love almost never lasts, but brave enough and desperate enough to try. I also went into this book, much like Wake, with high expectations because everyone, everyone adores this book and I wanted to find out for myself. and. I am happy to say that I adored it as well. I really, there are so many things I adored about this book. The one thing that strikes me the most about loving it is the simplicity of it all. And I know that sounds kind of maybe bleh, but I really love the simplicity of it. Mostly with contemporary novels you get this great love and it's almost a love that's hard to imagine though. A love that you don't see yourself happening. It just always works out and is a happy ending and I just... I always I love contemporary novels, but I don't always enjoy that aspect of the unrealness of it. If you want some real, real love, how it really happens when you're young and stuff, I think this one really hits the nail in its head. And it oh, it paints a picture that, that love is not always gonna win. And it's sad to say, but I won't leave you like spoiled or anything. But the ending was very, very sad, and I didn't like it. But in reality, that is what happens, and it's happened to me, it's happened to probably a lot of girls out there where this love has happened, and we all would love to say that maybe in a couple, I like to think, especially with the end of this book, which spoiler alert, if you don't want to watch this, skip like a minute, I guess. I would like to think that maybe in five or ten years, they meet up again, and they realize the love that they had when they were 16 is still there, still fresh, still raw, and still beautiful, and they decide to do something with it. That's what I'm trying to think about when I end this book. Like, I want to be like, there's more, perhaps, but the reality is, is that love is not always easy, and it never will be easy. When I fell in love, it was not easy, it wasn't a smooth course, it was a bumpy, fearful, scary road, and this was beautiful in the way it did that. And I really loved reading about both of them. Eleanor had this great sense of wildness and kind of ruggedness and rigidness, and you learn more about her family and how her has shaped her the way she is and it's a sad reality with her family and how her stepdad is and the reality is there's a lot of families and a lot of girls like Eleanor out there today and that is just awful to think about and I just I know there's tons of people out there and I just want to say you know there's always an answer for that and I just hope they find it and I hope they are strong enough to do it like Eleanor was I really liked Eleanor and Park oh my gosh a sweet boy Park I think there are tons of boys like Park out there in the world and I would love to meet Park I think he's just the nicest and Park's parents were like my favorite part of the book just seeing parents still in love and still love each other and still care about their children more than anything else and I just I hope one day that'll be me and my husband when we have kids and our kids will look at us thinking, wow, they are in love. They love each other, not like fighting all the time or anything like that. Like, they are really soulmates. And I really loved Park's parents for that. I thought they were phenomenal. I thought his mom was hilarious. His dad was a great dad. I thought he was just a phenomenal dad. Like, I loved him. And I loved reading about Eleanor and Park's romance, how it was shy and timid and very, it went through the book kind of slow, like it took a while for them to get there. And that is how love is a lot of times. It takes a while. You can't just jump in usually. You have to take it slowly, you know, slowly at first, slowing through the water. I don't know. I freaking adored this book. I loved it so much. It's definitely going to be one of my favorites of all time. I, uh, I just really loved it. I cannot wait to read more from Rainbow Row. I want to read more right now. I just really thought she captured it perfectly. Of course I'm going to give this book a 5 out of 5. I highly recommend it if you just want a kind of, it's not very simple like happy-go-lucky. I think it's more a little bit deeper than that and but if you want a great book about love and the realness of it, definitely pick this one up. It's great. It won't disappoint you and the cover is awesome as well. That's all for me for the book review today. I will see you guys next time and yeah hope you guys have a great rest of your week. Bye. I saw my face Three broken tickets and a sparrow that sang Crawled up through the pages and it called out